okay, here we are again in the pit's world of generating pain and suffering and I'm going to show you how to adjust the governor on a Honda EM4500X. It's pretty much the same deal for any Honda EM4500. Um, the S is slightly complicated by the fact that it's got the feature auto throttle, but you'll see what I mean when it comes to doing it. So uh, basically you need a 10 mil spanner and okay. So what we've got, here's the governor arm and it's attached to this shaft. This shaft is turned by the governor inside the engine. The faster the engine goes, the more the shaft is turned clockwise. So that as the engine speeds up, this shaft is being turned clockwise pushing the engine, in, pushing the carburetor into the closed position there, okay, via this linkage goes across to the throttle butterfly. So the engine speeds up and the governor tries to press it that way. The governor's spring is working against it, it's trying to pull the carburetor throttle butterfly open by pulling the governor arm that way. So that's, that's shutting the carburetor down, that's opening the carburetor up right up. So when the machines are idle, the only force opening on operating on it is this governor spring so the carburetor is fully open. The idea is that the two forces are balanced when the machine's running to make it stay at about 3000 rpm and the balancing is done by this screw here which you use to set your um, engine speed. Now you'll see that there's two holes on this governor arm for the spring to go into. Now I believe that on 50 hertz machines the spring goes in the inner hole on 60 hertz machines it goes in the outer hole where it needs a little well I could be wrong but that's the way I usually do it and it seems to work quite well uh, when this machine came in it had the spring in the outer hole I've moved it across so basically what we're going to do is we're going to look to um, the, the reason we need to adjust it is because you get wear in the governor you get wear in these little linkages and stuff and over time you lose a little bit of engine power because of that. So what we're going to do is we're going to reset it. We unclamp this 10 millimeter nut here, which releases the governor arm from the shaft. And then we're going to turn the shaft anti-clockwise as far as it will go, holding the governor arm straight and then clamp it back up again. Now, the one thing is, this is slightly complicated by the fact the machine has auto throttle. What auto throttle does is, when there's no load on the machine, this kicks across and shuts down the carburetor in tick over mode. Okay, and in order for that to happen, it has to have this pivot in the middle of the governor arm. Okay, so if you haven't got auto throttle, you won't have that pivot, it'll just be a straight arm. But as we have got that, it means that when you're setting the governor, you've got to hold that locked solid like that just clamp that like that and you're locking it solid while you're doing it okay so i'll just set that now you can just put a pair of mold grips across there to lock it but uh, they'll probably get in the way of the camera so i just loosen that off like that Okay, you see it's all like floppy like that, okay? So what I'm going to do is hold this. That's the, see a little bit of movement in the governor? Okay, we're holding that anti-clockwise. I'm going to pull that straight like that. So it's, and the governor arm's just straight. And I'll hold that like that. And then I'm just going to, we clamp that up. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to start the machine up and then um, just use this screw to set the, the frequency with no load on the machine to 52 hertz. Then I'm going to put the full four and a half kilowatts of load on the machine and uh, and uh, hopefully it will stay above 48 and a half hertz. Now, if I put the four kilowatts 
four and a half kilowatts on the machine and it's still holding the full 50 hertz then I might go back to the to the no load setting and turn this down a bit and make that like 51 hertz and then offload it might go to um, to uh, 49 hertz with, with the full load it might go to 49 hertz the idea is to get it as close to 50 hertz in all conditions as possible what we don't want is for to have it out so it's okay with no load on it but when we put the full load on the frequency drops away and drops below about 48 and a half hertz because if it does that then the AVR is working its heart out trying to hold up the voltage so and also but when you slow down the engine you're slowing down the, the fan that's pumping air through the alternator okay so we want it to be as close to 50 hertz at full load and at no load as we can get that's what we're aiming for so you won't be able to um, hear me saying much when we uh, do this so you'll just uh, have to live with me just uh shouting went over your head. I started off at 52 hertz and I found that when I put the full load on, four and a half kilowatts, it was still holding just over 50 hertz. So that's allowed me to turn down the initial speed. I turned it down to about 50 and a half and then at full load it was still holding 49 and a half hertz. So that's just, that's the perfect situation really but it would still be okay if it had only held 48 and a half but that's fantastic when it's holding a half hertz either side of the uh, of the target which is obviously 50 hertz is your target but at full, uh, full load I'm getting 49 and a half and at no load I'm getting 50 and a half it couldn't be better than that so we're going to say that was a success and obviously as we're making this video whatever happened we'd have said it was a success <laughs> but that actually was so we're happy with, and I'll just put it back together and we're good to go.